I'm Jeremy and I work in customer service here at Evolution Industries. This is an instructional video on how to set up Evolution's expulsion system for internal seals. The expulsion plate works with our valve plate for a clean finish. This also keeps your components off the socket wall, therefore reducing your chances of dinging or damaging your suspension system. The plate also comes with a push button release that allows air back into the socket for easy removal. To set up this system, you will need an expulsion valve kit, part number VV01-002, and the orange expulsion plate, part number VEP-001. From the expulsion valve kit, you will be using the valve plate, part number VMP-007, the expulsion valve housing, part number VV03-001, and the small seal. You will not use the large seal, the orange seal, or the one-way duckbill valve. The orange expulsion plate will come pre-assembled and you will also be provided a large seal which fits into the recess. To set up your system, take the socket with the valve plate gunked in place. For more information on setting up the valve plate, check out the valve manual on our website. Now once the valve plate is gunked onto the socket, the rest is pretty simple. First, you're going to take your small seal and insert it into the center of the mounting plate. Take your expulsion valve housing, twist it clockwise, and secure it into the mounting plate. Use your wrench tool part number WT001, to tighten the housing and ensure a good seal on the distal end of the socket. Be careful not to over tighten. Now once the valve is in place, take your orange expulsion plate and your large seal, fit it into the recess. Keeping it secure, slide the plate onto the valve plate and match it up with the four hole pattern. Once it's set, secure both plates with four screws. Once the four screws have been tightened down, inspect your plates to make sure there are no gaps in between. So as an example of how the expulsion system works, we're going to use a full model of a residual limb fitted with an origin liner and one of our echo locking seals. Once the liner and the echo are donned over the residual limb, be sure to lubricate the seal to protect the echo and also aid in the donning process. Now as the patient steps into the socket, air is going to be expelled distally and out the side of your expulsion plate. You can press the release valve to expel the air faster. Release the button, and the patient is held in suspension. After they take a few steps, air is going to be expelled through the one-way valve on the side of the plate, and they'll be held in suspension. So in conclusion, this is a clean and simple setup, and it is the recommended configuration for expulsion 
with use with the Aura and Echo Lock with seals. Working with our valve plate and keeping the expulsion system distal, we minimize the chance of damaging exposed parts. If you have any questions, please call us at Evolution at 1-888-839-6213. Thank you.